Carly. It has taken me forever to write this letter because there aren't enough words in this world to describe my love for you. My dear Stephen, I've rewritten this letter so many times, scribbling and scratching to make it absolutely perfect because that is what you deserve. I will love you, cherish you, protect you, honor you, and be there for you forever. Even though I write stories for a living, writing words to express the amount of love I have for you presented me with the biggest challenge because there are not enough words in the entire universe to be able to express how much I love you and how grateful I am for you and how much I truly admire and adore you. I promise to always be faithful, loyal, and honest. I promise to give my best each and every day to be the best husband I can be. I promise you there isn't a man out there that has a heart like mine, and that heart belongs to you. When I met you, I knew there was something different, and instantly you could feel a genuine connection and that forever had been waiting to be blessed with. You are the most selfless, loving, caring, and considerate man on this earth. I am so truly <laughs> hashtag blessed to be able to call you my husband. Like I said, it's so hard for me to take these words I want to say to you and put them on me. I have prayed for this day for a long time, and here it is. I want you to know that you are my world and I will commit myself to you because everything that I have is yours. I give myself completely and freely to you. I'll support you, protect you, and be there for you. Till death do us part. Apparently, the shoe's gonna have a big part in our life. <laughs> but the one thing I admire so much about you is that you prioritize the Lord and His grace and our love. And I will never know uh, what I did to deserve to wake up every day and have someone like you put me first before anything and everything that you do. From your height to your, to your accent to your funny mannerisms, you always have me entertained and always laughing and cannot really thank you enough for having me to spend the rest of your life with. And I'm so ready to take on forever with you. Love Carly. I sure hope hell she cried for that. <laughs> There's so much I want to tell you, but I rather spend the rest of my life showing you. You are my rock, my world, my everything. I love you, Carly. Love always your husband, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen and Carly, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends as tonight in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Sometimes we forget marriage is a call. Marriage is a vocation. Sometimes it gets clouded by other vocations, right? We see popes and priests, and we see Mother Teresa and what she does, and we're like, oh yeah, they were called. They had a vocation, a vocare. But marriage, what you enter today, what you choose, is a call. In fact, I'd say it's just on the same level, if not more important in some ways than other vocations. Because it's you two who will form the next generation and your children. And we need you. We need everyone else who's married here to understand that marriage is a call. Hi, Stephen. Take you, Carly, to be my wife. Hi, Carly. Take you, Stephen, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Stephen would work turnarounds and he'd show up to marriage prep 
Little sleep drive in from Donaldsonville, drive back. Carly is very vocal about how she wanted this to be about the sacrament. She even uh, talked about it last night at the rehearsal dinner. She said, I hope, I hope that everyone realizes this is about the sacrament, about the holiness of it. And even the Mass, she was very adamant that it was going to be in the context of Mass. And that's what's important to her and her family. It's a sacrament, it's a call, it's a vocation, vocare. If you want virtue, if you want humility, if you want gentleness and patience, do you want faithfulness, do you want love, do you want a good marriage, then put in the work. Put in the work. What do I mean by that? Here's the analogy. You win not on Saturday. You win on Monday. You win on Tuesday. You don't win in January. When do you win? In August. You don't win when the lights are shining down on you. And 80,000 fans are surrounding you. You win when nobody's looking. When you're alone in the weight room and no one sees that rep that you skipped. You win on the mundane, everyday, gritty. That's what love is. You win when no one's looking. I now have the privilege of introducing to y'all for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Insminger Jr.